प्रिय शिक्षार्थीबृंद प्रिय स्टूडेंट्स वेलकाम अगेन टू आर अनल क्लस एरेज बै रायपुर आर के एम हाई स्कूल आई एम अगेन हियर टू टेक अनदार अनल क्लस फर द स्टूडेंट्स अफ क्लस नाइन एंड टेन अल्सो एंड टूडे आई उल डिसकस अबाउट ए ग्रामार पार्ट इन यूर सिलेबास हुईच इज ऑन द पार्ट अफ ट्रांसफरमेशन अफ सेंटेंसेस एंड यू नो देर इज सो मेनी पार्ट इन दिस सेक्शन एंड वन अफ द पार्ट इज वस चेजिंग वजेस सो टूडे आई उल डिसकस अबाउट चेजिंग वजेस हाउ डू यू चेन्ज वज सो लेट स्टार्ट So voice means actually sp uh, speech. Our speaking. These are the voices. What we talk, what we say, and it has uh, two kinds. You know, one is active and another is passive. We say it active voice, passive voice. Uh, so at first we have to understand what is active voice and what is passive voice. First, I am writing the names. active passive in active sentences the subject um works actively that is called active sentence when subject works actively then we say it is active sentence and in passive sentence when subject remains passive and the work is done by other then we call it passive voice when subject remains passive that is called passive voice so we can go for an example so that it becomes more clear to you clearer to you suppose i'm writing a sentence a simple sentence i eat rice here the word i is subject eat verb rice is object so what is the action here the action is about it eating the work is here it and the work is done by subject subject himself doing the work doing the action so it is an active sentence so if we want to make it passive then it becomes rice is eaten by me look in this sentence the subject i becomes object and it changes into me and here the object remains inactive and uh, here in this sentence passive sentence the main subject is rice and the work is or action is eat but rice is not eating himself ओके अर्थात रईस एखे निजे क्षा कर निजे खाचेना रईस के खावा हे सबजेक्टर क्षा अन्न क्यों कर दीचे दैट मीस मी इज डुईंग दार्क सो हियर दो रईस इज सबजेक्ट एंड इट्स वार्क इज डान बी सो दिस इज कल्ड पैसिव सेंटेंस और पैसिव वज सो नाउ आई उल डिसकस अबाउट हाउ आई हाव चेज द सेंटेंस from active to passive and this is very simple there are five basic rules of changing voices if you look at this sentence this passive sentence you can see here is five word this five word is five sentence so what is the rule look this is active sentence subject verb object when i have made this passive what i have done i have done i have made this object as subject of the passive sentence that means the first rule is object of active sentence become subject of passive sentence this is the rule number 1 then what i have done i have added is here so is we know is an auxiliary verb so that means we have to use an auxiliary verb um, after the subject is so 
there are so you know there are so many auxiliary verbs so why i have used is here and it is according to the subject and tense of the sentence that means subject of the passive sentence and tense of the active sentence okay so here subject is rise and tense is present indefinite so when the active sentence is present indefinite then we have to use am is are so with e rise is is the perfect uh, match perfect auxiliary so i have written is this is the rule number 2 rule 1 rule 2 then rule number 3 you see the verb has become a uh, past participle form it is past participle is eaten so rule number 3 is main verb becomes the my past participle form and rule number four you can see here is by uh, by is a preposition we all know that means rule number four will be the, we have to use a preposition and in most of the cases preposition by is used um, like other rules only few uh, exceptions are there and it is a uh, in every cases we will not use by but in most of the cases so what will we use we can use other prepositions like to with at this type of prepositions are also used in changing voyages uh, and that is according to the uh, main verb suppose um, i will write another example uh, using another preposition at first let me finish the rules and the rule number five is subject of active voice becomes object of passive voice this is the rule number five so what are the rules the sub object of active voice become the subject of passive voice um, we have to use an auxiliary verb according to the subject and tense of the uh, sentence then we have to use the uh, past participle form of main verb then a preposition usually by then the object form of subject of active voice so these are the five rules if you uh, can realize or memorize or understand these five rules accordingly serially then you will be able to uh, complete most of the voice changes okay now uh, let me show you an example using other preposition suppose i have written a sentence He knows the chairman. This is a sentence. According to this rule, this change will be like this. The chairman is known to him look here i have used preposition to because here the verb word is known no so with the word verb we don't use by with the word no we have to use preposition to if there is preposition it has to be to so this is the exception uh, uh, or this is the rules so i hope you will understand the um, uh, basic uh, rules of changing voices these are the main rules and if you can uh, follow these rules you will be able to complete the uh, voice changes so I am giving you some homework today you will do it by yourself and there are some other things you have to know before changing voices uh, regarding auxiliary verb while changing active to passive we use auxiliary verb according to the subject and tense of the sentence so you have to know in which sentence what which sentence takes what auxiliary or which auxiliary like if it is present in different tense then we use am is are if it is past indefinite we use was or like if it is uh, present continuous then we use am being is being are being then if it is a uh, present perfect we use um, have been has been like this i am showing some example look carefully
the boys are playing football so we have the object is football we will write it as a subject we will take is football is look this is a present continuous tense so we have to use an extra being for this ing okay if it is continuous any kind of continuous then we have to use an extra being so football is being then play is the main verb we have to use played by the boys so i hope you understand this uh, now another example uh, he has broken the glasses okay so the subject is here glasses glasses and the subject is plural so we will take r glasses r sorry it is not a present tense it is a perfect tense so we will take have glasses have as it is present perfect tense we will use an extra been for being present perfect or if it is past perfect glasses have been broken by him so look the sentence is clear fully i hope you will all understand it easily these are the normal sentences and i have written all the present tenses now i will write a past tense sentence so that you can also understand like um my brother was the car is object it will be subject the car was as it is past tense and the past participle form of it given by my brother again if i write he had visited my house this is the object so it will be subject my house had been as it is past perfect we have to use an extra been with it my brother had been my house had been visited by him so these are the basic rules of changing voices so i hope you all understand you will um, follow the rules you will find the rules in any grammar book and look also the examples then it will be easier if you watch the videos um, again and again then i hope everything will be clear to you that's all for today uh, good luck and keep safe keep well and continue continue your study with our online classes thank you all